Crews are working hard to clean up Northwest Arkansas. Many folks suffering from a damaged roof. Here with details on what you can expect from roofing contractors, we have Boaz, Connor, and Travis joining us. Thanks for being here, all of you. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you very Thank much. You. Yeah. Yeah. So what should customers look for when they're choosing a contractor for their roof? Uh, well, there's a lot of things they can consider, but right now with all the damage and so many people coming in to do this, there's probably three main things. Yeah. Um, one would be their certifications. Um, you want to make sure they have a contractor's license with the state of Arkansas, um, a business license with the city that they're working in, um, also a certificate of insurance, general liability, workers' comp, in addition to credentials, online reviews, Google reviews, that sort of thing. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. What about the timeline right now? Because I know there's a lot of damage. What are we looking for in terms of a timeline for getting that new roof? That's, yeah. that's a great question. Um, before the storm, we could typically get to customers within a week or two. Um, material suppliers were able to deliver orders out to jobs within two days. But what's going to happen, there's hundreds of claims being filed right now. And in about two to three weeks, all of those are start, going to start to turn into contracts. And all of our suppliers are going to get these huge volume of orders. Sure. And we're going to go from two days out to possibly two to three weeks out just on the material delivery. In addition to all of our labor backlog, you know, every single one of us is going to turn into like a six to eight week lead time. Yeah. Okay. So I think the key there is patience, right? Absolutely. Because you're going to be very busy, yeah. uh, understood. And you mentioned insurance. What is that insurance claim process like? So typically, their insurance companies are going to come out, they're going to assess the damage, base that damage off of what is covered under the policy. Um, they're going to assess that, they're going to put it through their estimating software, extend the coverage, write the estimate, and that typically in the first two pages of an insurance claim, it's going to say share this with your contractor for review. Um, this is important because it's going to prevent homeowners from coming out of pocket for things that they should not be paying for. Right. There's things that insurance adjusters miss um, that contractors will find before, during the job, um, and these things can be billed to the insurance to prevent additional monetary damage to these homeowners. That's great. So what's your advice then if you get your insurance claim and the customer feels like their insurance claim isn't correct? What do you do there? Have your roofer assess it. Um, anybody that's been in the business for a long time can actually go out there and look at things. Look at that scope with that, uh, that that adjuster had sent out there. And once you start looking that over, you can start adding supplements if needed. So okay. want to make sure that all that is correct up front if you can. Great. And you mentioned that licensing earlier. Why is it important to check the licensing of the contractor that you've hired before they start working on your roof? You may not be protected. Um, so if you're, if you're having a contractor that's not licensed, insured to do the work, and God forbid something go wrong, you may not be protected as the homeowner. So it's important. The state puts those in place to protect homeowners, um, you know, whether it's residential, building the, the homes back. Um, you know, the right contractor is going to have an engineer get involved and ensure that, that the build back is correct in, in certain applications. So, you know, it's, it's, if they're not licensed or credentialed, or you could go on the Arkansas Contractors Board website, sure. search the name of the contractor that you're working with, and it will tell you what, their li what work they're licensed to do, if their contractor's license is expired, valid, mm -hmm. um, what their limitations are, and, and those things are ultimately there to protect the, protect the homeowners. Protect the homeowners. Yeah, that's right. great. What about, can folks who are licensed to do residential work also do commercial work, or is that a different kind of license? What are you looking at there? Yeah, it, it, it's, it's limited. So there's um, every, every case by case is uh, different with the um, specific trade. Roofers can do commercial work up to $50,000. Um, after that, it's required that they have a commercial license. Okay. Um, so, you know, the, it's, again, it's, it's put in place to protect Protect those. Protect uh, the, the, the homeowners or the business owner, right. for sure, yeah. Right. Well, thank you all so much for filling us in, joining Absolutely. us. Got some great tips for us as folks in Northwest Arkansas are seeking out new roofs uh, after the storms. We appreciate your time today. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. Thank Stick you. around.